We are at day three of the 12 days of Christmas, and today we have a Cezanne from Afterthought Brewing in Lombard. They're not quite open with the tap room yet, but we're expecting it to happen soon. Mike Thorpe is the owner and brewer of Afterthought. Thanks so much for participating in this, man. Where are you guys at with the tap room? So construction's getting fairly close to done, so hopefully we'll be able to open up for at least outdoor service in the spring. What are you guys doing with the space now? Can people order for curbside? Do you have beer there? Yeah, so right now we're doing curbside pickup on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, people can order at afterthoughtbrewing.square.com. Now, you know, we've had a few beers in our shop where people have been able to, to purchase. You guys have a lot at, the sh at your place or on, on Square, um, but they're not big batches. Talk a little bit about your brewing process. Sure. So we brew relatively small batches, about uh, a barrel and a half or 50 gallons at a time per day. Uh, we do most of the stuff uh, ends up being fermented in oak barrels, though we do have some stainless beers like the beer I think that we're going to talk about. Tell us about table beer. That's the beer that everybody has in their boxes right now. Yeah, absolutely. So table is uh, one of our beers that is not uh, oak fermented or oak age, which allows us to turn it around uh, quite a bit quicker and it, you know, ferments faster and a little more clean uh, than a lot of our beers because it is, you know, just over 3% alcohol. And so that one we brew uh, with a good dose of oats and, and or wheat uh, alongside Pilsner malt and then that is, we, we've released some variants over time, but the base beer is always Cascade hops and then uh, lightly dry hopped with Cascade. For this, per, for Saisons in general, because that's really the style that you guys are doing a lot of, what sets those or what, what kind of creates that style? So uh, it's a very yeast driven, very, very, very broad style because you've got, you know, light table ones to some breweries, including, you know, DuPont, which was the pioneer, at least uh, in America, you know, got people thinking about the style again, you know, the super saisons that could go up to, you know, eight, nine, 10%, uh, you know, can be light, dark, you know, hop forward or not too many hops, flowers, herbs, all sorts of various spices. Uh, can be, you know, kind of phenol forward, which would be more like pepper and clove, or uh, the latter, which would be ester forward, which is our preferred route, which is more fruity, anywhere from tropical and citrus to um, a myriad of other fruit flavors. Uh, and, and that's all driven by the most important thing, which is the yeast, and that it's a really a yeast-driven beer. What is a table beer? So a table beer is going to be something that's low in alcohol. Generally, I'd say probably, you know, under three and a half percent or so. Uh, it, it is common among Saison's uh, as it was, you know, at least as, as lore goes, it was, you know, the, the, the beer of field laborers, you know, while they're, you know, harvesting the grain and whatnot. Uh, so you want something that they could drink a liter or two of without getting drunk. Last question. When you guys open the tap room, what's the, uh, What's it going to be like inside? Uh, so it's uh, all, all the, the, the bones are there and now it's more of the, the finishing details, but we'll have about uh, 40 person capacity and eventually uh, permanent outdoor seating. That's I think probably something later into 2021 with all the delays we've uh, we've had this year, but uh, you know, standard brewery concrete floor, and then we'll have a, uh, uh, wooden bar you know not too dissimilar from the wall behind me and then we're going to have a uh the, the bar top itself will be brick that's awesome i can't wait to get in there and you talked a little bit about the fruit and other things that you guys do some of the most amazing beers you guys do those that are watching this to go check out go get them on curbside some of the uh the mead barrel aged beers and some of the fruit that uh, Mike you used to infuse are just absolutely amazing so we're so psyched that you uh, were able to participate in this you guys are so close to us so close to everybody that's been buying these I hope everybody goes and visits you thank you very much and likewise to you thanks for giving us the opportunity you bet thanks Mike appreciate it absolutely have a good one